Traveler, today we are talking about my homeland. So if you are around here, leave a comment below for a cup of coffee. Sweden is a traveler's delight due to its rich history and variety. This country has such stunning natural beauty that it will surprise you. When visiting Sweden, you will discover entertainment for all ages and interests. Viking relics, megalithic sites, and medieval structures may all be visited. Sweden, on the other hand, is a natural wonderland. But before we start the video, subscribe to the travel range. Also, enable alerts. Number 1. Stockholm Stockholm is both the capital and the largest city in Sweden. You may wander across Stockholm, see its museums, visit its palaces, and tour the 14 islands that the city has to offer. If you are visiting Sweden's capital for the first time, you must take a walk around Gamla Stan. In English, it means old city. An excursion to the Stockholm archipelago is another must-do activity. There are several boat and guided tour alternatives. This is a popular excursion among the people who live in the capital. We are confident that you will appreciate getting to know all of these lovely islands. A trip to Stockholm would be incomplete without a stop at the Vasa Museum, City Hall, Royal Palace, Drottningholm Palace, ABBA the Museum, and Skansen Open Air Museum. Number 2. Gothenburg This is Sweden's second largest and most significant city. It is situated on the country's west coast. You may go boating on Gothenburg's waterways. You may also go for a walk in the city center. Nordsten, Femenhuset, and Arkaden are the city's primary retail centers. The archipelago of Gothenburg and the coast of Bohuslän are must-see sites on any vacation to Sweden. Liseberg, Northern Europe's largest and most attractive amusement park, is located in the heart of Gothenburg. In any season, it is one of the most popular locations for Swedes. However, it is ideal to visit during the summer or during Christmas. You may also take a tour of Slottskogen Park in Gothenburg. The Botanical Garden, the Garden Society, and the Fish Market are all historical hangouts in the city. Number 3. Malmo Malmo is Sweden's third biggest city and is located in the country's south. If you visit Malmo, you must see the Turni Torso, the highest structure in Scandinavia. It is a neo-futuristic residential skyscraper and a symbol of the city. It is situated in the West Harbour. Another must-see is the Malmo Castle, which was built in the 16th century and bears the same name as a town. Look into Store Target. Malmo's biggest square is also the city's oldest, having been built in the 1540s. Many of the city's major administrative buildings are located here, the most notable of which is a city hall with pediments and pilasters. This magnificent Dutch Renaissance structure dates back to the square's inception. The Orison Bridge Tunnel is a must-see when visiting Malmo. This technical wonder connects the city of Copenhagen, Denmark's capital. If you enjoy greenery, you must go to Slottstrad Garden and Kungsparken, Malmo's oldest park, which was established in 1869. Number 4. Uppsala Uppsala is a city in northern Sweden. It is well known for its academic heritage and vibrant cultural life. Uppsala's Linz Botanical Garden is a must-see attraction. It was Sweden's first botanical garden. The renowned Gothic Cathedral is a must-see in this city. This is where Swedish kings are buried. If you are visiting Uppsala with children, Fyreshov is a must-see destination. 
It is a recreational park with a holiday park. It is one of the city's most recognizable landmarks. From wherever in Uppsala, you can see the city's prominent castle perched on its hill. Gustav Vasa ordered it in the 16th century, and it saw certain instances of political sleaze that have gone down in history. Gamla Uppsala will undoubtedly capture you if you are interested in Swedish history. This is a significant historical site in Sweden. However, if you want to witness amazing views of this wonderful city, we strongly recommend taking the hot balloons trip for one hour for about $200. And we're confident you won't be sorry. Number 5. Gotland Gotland is now one of Sweden's biggest islands. This has a lot more to offer and attracts thousands of tourists each year. With sandy beaches, forests, and sculptural sea stacks, this is sheer nirvana. Its major town, Visby, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a Viking-era marvel. Blue Lagoon, Forilden Nature Reserve, and Gotland's Zoo are among the attractions on Gotland. If you are interested in history, you should visit Gotland's Museum, Ellingham Church, and Visby Ringmer. There are now countless activities to do on Gotland, and we will have a special movie for this incredible place shortly, so keep an eye out. Number 6. Abisko National Park Where can you see the northern lights in Sweden? This national park serves as an excellent viewing deck. The Aurora Sky Station can be visited at Abisko. This location boasts some of the greatest amenities for seeing the stunning environment. The Abisko Valley, which is protected by mountain birch trees, may also be visited at Abisko National Park. There is also the magnificent and incredibly stunning Angela Mountain, which is known for its profusion of flowers. You may also enjoy Abisko Joe, which travels through a lengthy valley to the beautiful canyons. Several routes and trails go through Abisko National Park. This park is vital for the survival of numerous species and animals. It is one of Europe's few remaining big wilderness areas. Number 7. Lapland Do you want to learn more about Sami culture? Some members of these indigenous people live in this province. The Sami people live all throughout this area. Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Russia are all members. Lapland is also an excellent location for seeing the Northern Lights. This area of Sweden is home to Sweden's famed Ice Hotel. This location is open between the end of December and the beginning of April. If you happen to be in Yukasjärvi during that time of year, don't hesitate to stay at this unusual hotel. Number 8. Birka Any visitor interested in the Vikings should pay a visit to Birka, located on the UNESCO World Heritage listed island of Björko. You may wander amid Viking dwellings and get a sense of how the Vikings lived in the city during its heyday. The Ansgar Cross, located in Birka, is dedicated to the missionary who introduced Christianity to Sweden in the 9th century. You can't leave without snapping a photo with this iconic cross. We propose that you visit during Birka Viking Week in July. Number 9. Lake Vettern Sweden is a land abundant in lakes. There are at least 100,000 of them in this country. Many tourists, however, claim that Lake Vettern is the most scenic. Many locals prefer it as well. A visit to this lake will give you a sense of the beauty and tranquility that you may find in any of these Scandinavian places. We strongly advise you to take a tour on the steamboat from 1892. You may go on a circular trip on the lake, take a day excursion to Vizingso Island, or cross the lake to Vadstina or Hazelholm. If you decide to visit this lake, you should also go to the famous town. Number 10. Lund Lund, Sweden's oldest city, dates back over a thousand years. The spectacular 12th century cathedral and the world-famous 17th century university have impacted the city's history and culture. Walking distance to nice cafes, shopping, and museums, Lund University's Botanic Garden has existed since the 17th century. 
The park has around 7,000 species. Enjoying a stroll through the park, observe exotic flora and trees, fish in the pond, and finish with a coffee in the cafe. If you are interested in history, visit the Lund University's History Museum. Hakeburga Castle is another popular destination in Jinnar, less than 25 kilometers from Lund. Stay at the castle or in the hunting pavilion's extension in a castle-themed room. In the White Guide recommended restaurant, cooks experiment with new trends and Scanian cuisines, largely locally sourced and seasonally. That's all from my beautiful country, and we will see you in the next one.